All right, what's going on guys? It's Chris with Tech Savvy Agent and I got another awesome interview today. I'm here with my friend Ryan from Scavenger and uh, Scavenger is a location-based company uh, similar to like a Foursquare, Facebook Places, you know, a geolocation company, obviously leveraging mobile. But I wanted to bring Bri uh, Ryan on because they're doing some amazing things with real estate specifically, which a lot of those other options are not doing. So Ryan, first of all, thank you, sir. How are you? Doing well, Chris. How's it going? It's going good. And uh, we got a chance to chat a little bit before the interview here, talked about some innovative stuff that you guys are doing. So first of all, what the heck is Scavenger? You know, now I got to learn about something else, you know? So what is Scavenger? You know, how do you spell it? You know, give me the elevator pitch so the agents can learn more about you guys. Yep, yep. Well, well first of all, at our core, Scavenger, well, we got to make it clear, we have no vowels in our name. So it's just S-C-V-N-G-R. Okay. Um, we used to say we couldn't afford vowels, but then okay. Google Ventures invested in us in December, so we can't use that one anymore. But, um, okay. but so Scavenger's a game, and it's a game um, all about going places in the real world. So, you know, similar to a Foursquare, you go places, and with Scavenger, you do challenges and earn real-world rewards. So I could be, you know, in Boston here, walking down the street, and I go and I check into work. Well, when I check into work, I also see that there's a reward next door at Tuscanini's Ice Cream. So I can go into Tuscanini's, do a challenge, and the challenge might be, you know, snap a photo of my, my favorite ice cream flavor of the day, and then I'm going to get a free scoop of ice cream. So it's this idea of real-world interaction and engagement with your surroundings. Okay. So it's not, uh, and I think uh, kind of to pick out of what you just said there, it's not just about the check-in. It goes deeper than that, and I think that's where, you know, I think the next question would kind of be, hey, I already have, like, Foursquare on my phone. I'm yep. checking in all over the country. I've already got Gowalla. You know, I'm already using Facebook Places. So w why would there need to be another one, and what would make you guys different than some of those other, you know, maybe, hey, maybe a little bit more known? I mean, you, okay. did, you did just drop the Google word on me, which I love. <laughs> But, uh, you know, what would be kind of the difference between the check-in and then what you guys are creating with the interaction on the backside? Right. Well, I mean, you said it. There, there are plenty of check-in apps, and I think uh, we'd be pretty nervous over here with the announcement of Facebook Places if we were focused on the check-in. Uh, that's a very static action. You go places and you check in. What do you do past that? It's real-world engagement and location-based services should really be focusing on that because we're in the real world we need to do things to make that valuable so we have solely focused on this idea of the game layer on top of the world and and you know we're going to leverage ourselves off of other platforms uh that use social and we're going to become the game utility for those platforms so it's it's the, the big distinction is scavenger is is the challenge is yeah. the game yeah, you know, fun. Yeah, and let me explain something because I just actually, you know, all the talking we did before, I just figured this, I just figured out the whole deal. Okay, so somebody goes to an ice cream store, guys. They check in on Foursquare. It pushes it to Facebook, right? And it just says where they're at and when they're there, and they can add their narrative, right? Well, so you can actually you check in on Facebook or on Scavenger. As uh, well. Okay, so you're oh, checking yeah. in, but here, here's where I think the difference is. You're, you're giving somebody like a task while they're there. So you have to go to the ice cream store and check in, but we also want you to upload a picture of your favorite ice cream. So if I own that ice cream shop, would I rather there just say something that says, Chris is here right now? Or would I rather it like push to my Facebook, you know, the tub of Rocky Road, right? Got it, So you that, got it. That, That's where I think it's brilliant. So am I, am I on the right path there? Completely. It's the idea of you check in on Scavenger and then you actually do things and then you publish those to the social networks, the, the Twitters and the Facebooks um, that, that are out there. And it's the, the idea of now when you're on a Facebook page, you're going to see all this static activity, check in, check in, check in. But all of a sudden you're going to see, oh, Chris just did the, the Rocky Road you know, picture fest. And, and it's the idea of this, this um, awesome data and fun stuff going on amongst all this other static material. Yeah, and I can see that where that would be a huge benefit to, to business owners, but here's where we gotta get into the next question would be, you know, how does this help my business if I'm a real estate agent? Because, you know, what I kind of promised is, hey, there's Foursquare and Facebook or whatever, but you guys 
are actually building out functionality for realtors and brokerages uh, to actually help them with their marketing, open houses. So tell the agents a little bit about what you're doing, who you're doing it with, and kind of what the future holds for this. Right. Well, uh, there's two things we're doing in real estate, and we really believe that we are the link between location-based services and real estate because currently, as you know, you know people are setting, um, they're making their listing a location on Foursquare, and they're checking in, publishing that to their social networks, which is great. But again, you know, we need to go beyond that, and we need to find value within location-based well, services. Let me stop you right there. By the way, most of them aren't even doing that, my friend, but, can, That's true. <laughs> but please continue. There are a select handful that are, yeah. and and uh, which is great. You know, it's good to be ahead of the curve with location because it will be the next thing. Okay. Um, what we're doing is we're focusing on the neighborhood, we're focusing on the town, and we're going to take any environment. So, say you're an agent uh, in Cambridge, and you're a, a very powerful agent over here. Well, we can make you your own trek, and we will build out all of the surrounding locations in Cambridge where a prospective buyer would visit. So, we're going to take them to the school. We're going to take them to the, the best parks. The maybe there's a hidden coffee shop that's a hidden gem. Yeah. And we're going to take them to these locations to help them learn their neighborhood, find the right spot that's that's a good a good fit for them uh, to to play you know a critical element in the home buying process. Yeah. So this the the trek, what you guys call it, is basically it's a scavenger hunt, you guys. So you know if I link up with an agent and I'm not from the area or I'm thinking of moving to a different area. I can download this trek and you guys have to check this out because it's ridiculous. So it's gonna take a Google map and it's gonna drop pins on all the different locales like the school, uh, the coffee shop that he mentioned. And then it's gonna give me obviously the directions on how to get there, but then it also does give me the task to complete while I'm there. And, uh, and it's all based, what are you guys on? Uh, are you guys on iPhone and Android? Correct, correct. Also compatible with SMS, but, but for the full experience, it's iPhone and Android. And, you know, Chris, something that, that's really neat about Scavenger, it's scripted. These contracts are scripted by the agent. Okay. So if you're the agent, you pick what you want to highlight about your town. You know it best. And with Scavenger, you can make this continuous gaming element scripted by your brokerage or scripted to your, you know, your selling team. Right. So now all of a sudden, you're bringing a lot more value than just helping me with the transaction of the property. You're educating me about every place that I'm going for lunch. You know, you're giving me your feedback on the school that's in the area, et cetera. So you're really controlling that uh, user experience as opposed to them obviously going anywhere and getting that same information from something that's not branded back to you, right? That's a big deal. It's huge. And, you know, another interesting thing is people are continuously playing scavenger 24-7. And if, if I'm a stranger, you know, we're working with Christina Wise in Austin, Texas to build these out. And, you know, say I don't know Christina, but I'm looking for a place in Austin. I pull out my phone. I'm, you know, casually playing scavenger like I do every day. Well, now I'm going to see the Good Life Town Track in Austin. And I'm going to say, well, what is this? As a home buyer, it's going to be a scripted experience through the town all scripted through Christina Wise and their team over there at The Good Life. So it's an awesome way to even use it as a lead generation tool. Yeah, so basically they don't even have to know Christina, but they're going to probably feel like that they might want to call her exactly. because they got a lot of valuable you know, tips, if you will. And hey, you go. it's crazy to think this, but it's like I went to lunch at this restaurant off of her recommendation before I met her, and then like two days later I call her because I'm ready to sell. That's going to happen, guys. So how do you make money with a game like that? Okay, so thank you for watching because that question gets brought up all the time. Why should I check in? How is this going to help me make money? What is the ROI? So I definitely think you guys have a very tech-savvy option. Uh, it's free to download, right? So yeah. anybody can play Scavenger for free, just like Foursquare. H how would it go to the next level? So if I say, hold on a second, when I see Christina Wise doing something, Chris told me I should do it too. You know, how, how would I get to that next level of uh, creating a track or kind of doing right. some marketing in uh, in conjunction with you guys? How would I get in touch with you on that, Ryan? You call me, and uh, we have a team over here of game designers. We call them, and they physically will work with you and build your tracks. We would say, what locations do you want to highlight? You can even highlight listings, current listings. Um, and you can put your, your brokerage office in there to get foot traffic to your office. But 
we, we build everything we work with you and then we just we send the track the track live and, and off it goes and then i can link that over to somebody that i know or i guess what you're saying before is somebody could actually just kind of stumble upon that absolutely okay yeah. awesome so thank you and uh what's your number just give your number we'll put it in the post but if somebody wants to sure. contact ryan about more information he's in boston you guys can call him uh, email them, whatever. So what's your contact info, Ryan? And then we'll put it in the post as well. Sure. Phone number 330-714-3356. And the email is ryan at scavenger.com. But remember, no, uh, no vowels no in there. No vowels. They couldn't, they didn't want Vanna White walking over there. Nope. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it again. Chris with Tech Savvy Agent, Ryan with Scavenger, another awesome, innovative, you know, probably not a lot of you guys knew about this before you watched this. Let's keep it real. So we're always trying to bring you guys awesome info. And I think this was another great interview. So thank you, Ryan. And we'll see you real soon, man. Thanks a lot, Chris. Take care.